This is Raft, a survival game which was in development for over 5 years and made over 100 million dollars. But today, I'm going to make it in just 24 hours with the most cutting edge AI tools, some of which just released weeks ago. There's now tools that automatically deploy agents to do tasks on your computer, and even this tool which can create the most realistic 3D art that I've ever seen, so the results will shock you. So the first part of Raft is of course the water. I got the AI to generate some water, and then next, of course, we need a raft. I got Claude to write and set up a script to get this block floating, but now we need a raft model. So I started generating all of the different raft and building block types in Tripo Studio. Now for this, I could use the models from raft as a reference image, but instead I wanted something more realistic, so instead I used this image generator tool to create a new reference image from scratch of more realistic building blocks. And these turned out really impressive. I added the foundation, and then I got Claude working on the player controller and then the building system, which it didn't get perfect the first time, but after giving it some pointers, it eventually got it right. Next, in the real game, there's debris and all kinds of floating objects. So I generated a bunch of logs and leaves until we had something that looks really nice. But there's a secret way to make these look a lot better. See, here's two 3D models. The mesh on both is identical, but one looks much more detailed and realistic. The difference is one has something called PBR textures, which has been a standard in games for almost two decades. You may have heard of these. These include stuff like a normal map for depth information, a metallic and specular map to tell how lighting should behave, and even an AO map for shadows. Now what's cool about Tripo is unlike the other tools which I've tried out, they actually put in the effort to let you generate these extra textures, and all of these models now look a lot more realistic. Then I got Claude to make a pickup system with all the UI, and all of these sprites, including the transparent icons and buttons, were made by ChatGPT. Then Claude made a random spawning system around the player, and then made building based on the resources which you collect. And now one issue with the game so far is that you can just jump out and walk around in this water without anything bad happening to you, which you absolutely cannot do in the real game. So let's add the sharks. I went back to Tripo and made a shark, but this shark needs animations. And another feature which these guys have is a one-click rigging system, which was very well made and worked so surprisingly well on just this random shark. There's also an AI animation system, but it didn't fully animate my shark, so I had to make my own animations. I then got Claude to do some magic, and it made this water shark infested, and also generated this death UI when you fall in the water. But we have a pretty big problem, which is that I'm getting like 30 FPS. So I used Tripo's built-in retopology tool to optimize these models. Now this is a pretty cool game, but what's the point of a raft if it goes nowhere? See, in the real raft game, there's these islands. So I put the AI to work on a terrain generator, and meanwhile I started on generating the sand textures. Now this was probably the hardest part, as although these tools were great at generating an image of sand, this texture didn't loop seamlessly, which we need for a ground terrain. But I had a great idea. See, to make a texture that loops seamlessly, you can use noise. So what I did is I got ChatGPT to generate a texture using pure Python code, and this looked pretty good. I also knew that we'd need different trees and rocks, so I generated those, generated an island, and then placed them around the island. And these islands were looking awesome. They still looked a bit empty, so I added a couple ruined huts and shipwrecks, and this game is so impressive. Just a few months ago, I did a very similar challenge with totally different results. And as a game dev who has been making games for almost a decade, these tools blew me away. There are some issues though, for example, I had to optimize these AI models pretty heavily, since the geometry it makes is more like a photo scan and not something that was made professional. And in terms of the coding, a few tasks took a bunch of finesse to get right. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you Tripo for the sponsorship. If you'd like to use it for yourself, use the link in the description for an extra 500 credits on the default free plan. And if you buy the pro plan, use the discount code NANADEV for 60% off. So, peace.